So Stalker 2 just got a major patch with lots of fixes and improvements. And more importantly, performance optimizations and improvements are highlighted. So let's start with the claimed performance drops fix with FSR frame generation on the RTX 3000 series GPUs. And to my surprise, it actually did fix the problem, with frame rates staying consistent and no longer dropping by a huge margin for no reason. On launch, the lowest FPS it dropped to was 55 FPS, and on patch 1.1, the lowest it dropped to was 72 FPS. Even though general frame rates increased, this fix is still noticeable, and previously, with frame generation, the game felt slow and sluggish while now it actually feels very responsive to mouse movements. I think FSR frame generation is now fully fixed and is viable to use on RTX 3000 series GPUs, assuming your base FPS is already high enough. Now let's take a look at GPU performance. Performance has improved here a bit, by around 4% to be specific. However, the stutters are still present. The smaller stutters have higher 1% lows, but the major stutters are almost just as bad as before. It's an overall improvement sure, but not to the point where it's game changing. And VRAM usage here and with frame generation on has increased by quite a large amount. Now let's take a look at CPU performance, where it's the most needed right now. And it looks like performance increased by around the same as when GPU limited. However, the stuttering issues are slightly less severe now, leading to higher 1% lows and dips when they happen, but it's still way below acceptable frame rates. In CPU limited areas specifically, the improvements are even more noticeable, but once again, it looks like VRAM usage is considerably higher across the board. Maybe the devs did something with VRAM consumption to improve overall performance, but again, I would like you to tell us if you noticed this trend as well. And if you've been waiting for improved performance to start playing the game, I urge you to wait for more patches, as performance is still abysmal, and it's largely the same as before. So make sure to subscribe for more videos like this to know exactly when performance improves enough so it's worth playing the game.